Now, the most accurate weather team in Florida, ABC Action Weather. How you doing, everybody? Here's the latest on Hurricane Harvey. It did make landfall around Port O'Connor, Texas, as a Category 4 hurricane, winds of 100 and 30 miles an hour. Now it will slowly begin to weaken now as the center is moving away from the warm water of the Gulf, the energy of the tropical system. And as it slowly moves inland, even though it will weaken, it is still going to dump a ton of rain on this part of Texas. Here's a close up view here, really just kind of a textbook hurricane. And what's really crazy about this, and this is the thing that I think a lot of folks in the Bay Area need to learn from this. This was a depression about 30 hours ago. And within 30 hours, it went from a tropical depression to a category four hurricane. That's what can happen in the Gulf of Mexico when the water is so warm. So we always have to remember that for our area, that a storm coming in from the south on the west coast of Florida, you simply can never write it off because these things can and clearly do happen. And this is what's going to be even worse. This is the track for the next five days. So even though the winds will diminish and it will become a tropical storm, it's going to be a serious rainmaker and the computer forecast models for rain are looking at all time record breaking rains for some areas. This is just through Sunday night, predicting Houston over 31 inches of rain and they're an hour from the coast. Galveston between 13 and 20 Beaumont, Texas, 15 and 20 Victoria, Columbus. So you see what we're saying here. The entire part of southeastern Texas is going to have significant flooding problems, probably historical flooding problems. We'll be updating always 24 seven online and on air on your ABC Action News station.